Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Tyranny. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it's just to join me today as we continue murdering these stupid, stupid people that are really, really angry at us for no reason whatsoever. And uh, actually, there's a kind of a reason. We kind of took their homeland, I suppose, and things didn't go as they wanted. That's, that's at the end of the day, that's all that it is. It's just, oh, I wished, I wish things would have gone a different way. Yes, yes, you, you did. That's because you were incompetent because he, th that's the only reason it's the only reason Get why he, he didn't, oh no no you're gonna is he gonna work oh that's bad oh that's bad but you're gonna get that just in case who's he attacking oh he's a ranged one so that makes sense okay he's gonna be birding a little bit that's gonna be fine what are you doing he's doing that thing he shouldn't be doing that thing please don't do that thing sir do let's see so iron tolling no let's do this if you can oh don't you what the hell why do you go <clears throat> did it we switch weapons Oh, and now he's engaged, of course. <sighs> was he doing... What was he doing? What was he trying to... What is he trying to do, even? Just taking... Is it just taking damage? You can't do that. Oh, look at that! Okay, so attack Why that, not? and you stop there, and you fall back. Disengaging, of course. Okay, let's see. Let's make sure... Let me make sure that he has... Yeah, he does. It's kind of weird. Oh, wait a minute. He's got... He's kind of in a little bit of a... Precarious situation. What are you trying to cast, man? Cast the f erase the record. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's bad. You got it. Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay, murder, murder. Did you cast it? Yeah, you did. Okay, I think he's gonna Someone go down. Staunch my bleeding. Yeah, I'm gonna staunch your bleeding in a little bit. Let's do that, and let's actually have her do the same thing because she can. Uh, and since she's late on her, oh, he's healing himself. Huh. It's not gonna work, man. It's not gonna work. And down he goes. Yeah, that was just two. Last episode... Uh, Even Fury needs her sleep. Yeah, well, you're gonna wait. Um, last episode, we actually fought a bunch of them, and it was quite a tricky battle. I, if I must say so, I, I will say that. And this is a nice little spot. Look at this. They, they chose a nice spot. But they're also killing this favorite soldier, so they're all gonna die, because they're violating Kyra's peace. They're all gonna be murdered in the face, and also other body parts that might accrue some pretty good serious damage that I might be able to uh, to bring them down. So let's save the game and let's I, I see more in the minimap, so it's gonna be more of them. Okay, let's go into sneak Moving mode. Cautiously. Because I'm just that kind of badass. Let's have her attack on sneak if she can. Can you? You got it. Yeah. Okay, so you guys need to fall back. Alleys to the body count. Oh, that's gonna be good. Maybe. Okay, so now you, sir, are gonna have to cast that. There. What is she doing? Oh, she's casting that, that palm. Okay, he's going, of course he's going for him. Of course. Ah, that's so bad. It's so much damage. But I need to do it. Let's do it properly, this one. Oh, wait a minute. She's taking so much. So much damage. Okay, now, you need to not be there. Don't be there. Disengage all you like, but don't be there. Ever. Run. Just don't be there anymore. Okay. Now, you, sir, you're gonna fall back over out. here. And you're gonna call for uh, the Titan's Touch, or actually Spectral Blur on you. And you, sir, need to do this fantastic, fantastic ability right there. Please. Oh, that is nice. That guy went down. Can you do that? And you, are you doing your thing? Murder, murder that one, please. Okay, that was a little bit good. Let's see if you can mark him for whatever. Erase the record of whatever. She's gonna do that pretty thing. And that's 19 points of damage. It's 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 deflecting a bunch, actually. That's pretty good. So she's on fire, and that's uh, what I was looking for. This this is once per per encounter, right? It's not once per rest. Let's go with that. Let them burn or bleed or whatever. Yeah, they're doing quite a bit of damage. And there it is. He leveled up as well, which is not good, but it is what it is. Because we need to, uh, we need to get the skills, but we haven't, we haven't met any traitors yet. No, disengage. Yeah, disengage all you like. You level, you're leveled up. We're fine. Okay, okay. So they're right. dead. I need respite from our travels. You will get some in a little bit. What is this? This is a broken armor. No need for that. Okay. Now let's I'm level old. you up. Can I click there? Yes, I can. Fantastic. UI department. You are. How, how can I congratulate you? You are congratulated. Ah, whatever. They're not listening. Maybe they are. Who knows? Hi! Uh, anyway, let's see. I'm gonna bring up his uh, accuracy, bonus to health, ability spell cooldown. Yeah, quickness is good for spellcasters, because they can, um, yeah, because of that. Uh, basically, the, the cooldown. 
Uh, over here we have ourselves passage of hours. Lentry surrounds the target in a bubble of slow time, slowing their actions and movements. And that applies to uh, a range of 10, yes, 10 meters, but it applies to uh, foe target versus magic. Slowed, hmm, okay. So apparently it can be resisted, which is actually okay. And over here we're gonna need to spend a bunch of talents. Moment of peace, significantly increase the health restored by second breath and... Uh, Second breath, that's the that's this one. And uh, protect revived characters from damage for a short time after they are revived. 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 Yeah. Over here we got Arcane Shield, which is not really something I want. Um, so that's okay. So if used from stealth... No, that's though. That, these are the weapon ones. I'm probably going to go with... Uh, with Gifted. Hmm... This is a little bit more strategic in, in, in direction, but it's... Uh, can I... Do I need to spend any? No, I probably... Well, I probably don't. Uh, so we are over here. These are... Yeah, these are... Ooh, I have that. Yeah, the favor of the Fate Binder. Of course, we need to bring the Wrath in them to sever Ashes Bond. Oh, we're gonna get that in the... Uh, in this one. It's Scarlet Chorus. I think, maybe. Scarlet Skin. Gain a large bonus to burning and bleeding resistance. Oh, that's so good. That, is that passive at least? It is actually. That's good. Um, I thought I thought Not it was a an active ability. The first time. I got it. Active ability, but it's not. It's a passive one, which is how it should be. Because, I mean, yeah, you know, if you know an enemy is gonna make you bleed and burn, Can't then I suppose it, it you'd do well to cast that ability if it were indeed to be castable, to to be a castable ability. But uh, as it stands, I think we're we're fine. Uh, so, yeah, let's see this fire, and ooh, we have uh, iron ingots and a scroll, lesser sigil of cleric cl slick click 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 things that happen in, in things. So let's see what that is. Right click here. Nope, right click doesn't actually bring up the inventory. That's sort of another thing completely. And what do we have? Uh, the scroll contains a magic accent, so you can learn these. Okay, I... I I didn't I didn't that, that's the first time I'm actually looking at them I thought they were like spells because that's what Pills of Eternity has and also that's what uh, pretty much every game has <laughs> but no they are sigils they are they are the things we get oh boy I'm, I'm, okay I'm 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 gonna save the game here and we're gonna look into them so over here we have okay so I'm gonna try to apply that to me if I can do that. Uh, this call contains a magical accent which slightly reduces the spell cooldown. Go with that. Over here we have. Uh, see what this one does slightly increases the strength of a spell very nice what about this one uh, which is used in spells that affect targets to a distance and there we go I'm, I'm doing it with him but I don't think it's required I think I already know this sigil because the sigils are party wide so this one is junk and what about this one this call contains a magical expression which is used in spells to generate an aura around the target and I think yeah I'm pretty sure you don't need to use different characters for this <clears throat> excuse me and this spell, or this scroll, contains a magical accent which slightly increases the range of a spell. And that is very good. Now, let's look at our spells. What do we have? Ooh, the accents. So, how does that work? Like, for example, I am using Restoring Touch, which uses this sign, which you can see over there, with an accent that is this thing, which you can see over here. So, how does this work? Create a spell that affects a single target near the caster. Uh, expression used to create spells that affect distant targets. Hmm. So basically, this is the base one. This is the base. Oh, I can add more? No, no. Can I? No. Can I? I can. It does require extra lore. Oh, that's really cool. That is so cool. I love this. This is very, very interesting. It's, it's, it, it, it spell, it's, it's basically streamlined spell construction, but in a way that kind of ma like lays out the choices for you. Can't make something bad and unknowing anyway. So we have something here for a single target. We have something here for a distant target. And basically these are the the, the expressions. Oh, that okay. So there we have a core. I was yeah, I was missing the dis distinction here between expressions and accents. So we have um, an expression over here. And then you have the accents, which are the like in a banner. We can't use these. Apparently, they are not good. So this is for a distant target, which is actually pretty good. Expression used to create an area that uh, uh that generate an aura around the target. Oh wow, I'm kind of interested to see how that works. So emitting allied four, uh, allied AOE plus three percent health, but not recovery, just health. And that's not that great actually. 
And he requires AD lore. Holy crap, that's a lot. Okay, so let's go with these accents. What is that for? It just increases the health. Oh, no, 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 no. That's... The other one... Oh, okay. The I. Uh, it's... Yeah, it's... it's That's healing. That It's 3% health healing. Because this one... 20%. You see over there? And this is 4. So it's a different thing. But I think it's better. Especially if I bring these things up. So that's inc that increases the range, which is not really needed, but... Yeah, I can, I can afford it. And we gotta decrease the cooldown here. So... If I want him to focus on healing, that would be an interesting thing. The... the why is it... An area of effect? It does an area of effect, but why is it so weak? Isn't it weird that it is so weak? Okay, he's gonna be the one to have it, of course. Uh, and then we are gonna remove this one because this one doesn't have all the nice accents. Although I might be able to change it. Yeah. Might be able to j just add to it. And yeah, update. There it is. Oh, this system works flawlessly. I love it. Okay, so you, sir, what are you gonna do? You can do the... Uh, you, uh, that's, that's what I wanted, actually, because he can... Oh, he can't use that. Okay, so remove that. And he can still use this one. What does he do, by the way? Uh, it increases the range. Which is actually kind of good. And this one increases the cool or decreases the cooldown. So you think that Yeah, let's go with this one. Update. As for her, she is kind of terrible with uh, her spells, so she can't do anything here. Uh and as for me, I'm not that bad. Uh and I'm uh, I'm a frontliner, so actually can she do what did I just do there? Did I... Hmm. I'm gonna do this for her. Oh, she can't do that. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, let's go over here. So, I get this one. I get uh, everything, because I think I can handle everything, right? No, I can't. Not this one. This is for cooldown, right? No, it's not for cooldown. It's for something else. I think it's for AoE. Let's see. So, uh, accents reduce the cooldown of the spell. It's for cooldown. Yeah, so I don't need that one. This thing increases the range. So, I need this one, and I'm gonna update right there. Okay, so that's an interesting way of, of doing it. I really like that, but I need to lose a little... Or not lose, but I guess spend a little bit of time. Just, uh, you cannot view or modify. Okay. Uh, I need to spend a little bit of time uh, going through these, because they are quite... There's quite a lot of them. Like, for example, this one. So basically the spectral blur, but the... Distant impact. The difference there... Oh, wait a minute. This is a different spell altogether. So basically, ally target plus 30% grace to deflection and plus 30% hit to deflection. Um, so basically, it's got a flat out 30% increase in defense uh, because it all gets deflected. Uh, so that's pretty good already. Uh, but if I change this one, full target prone affliction for... Tw that's really awesome. And it does an AoE damage. Huh. That is fantastic. And then I apply everything. Oh, I love how this works. I love how this works. Can I assign it? Tell me I can assign it. Can't. Oh, boy. Okay, so reset. Okay, I'm gonna make a new one then. Uh, I'm gonna make this on this and then add all the things here. It becomes... It doesn't... Uh, the accents don't appear there, which is kind of interesting, but... Yeah, I'm gonna put it over there and then I'm gonna update this guy because... You know, might as well go through all the, the spells and update them. Since I can do them... Uh, can't do that one, though. Uh, now, you, sir, you can do... This is a spectral blur. That's for you, right? Yeah, that's for you. So I'm gonna try and go for... This one is for increased power. You can't use that. Oh, actually, that's... that's that, that would be a... That would have been a nice one. This is for range. He doesn't really need that. The cooldown would be interesting, and I'm gonna update there. And she can't really do anything with her, because... I can't do anything with her, because her spells are kind of terrible. This thing... What is that for? It's basically a ranged one, right? So, yeah, it has a little bit of an area of effect as well. Stunned Affliction. And this one doesn't stun. Okay, let's go with this one then. Hmm. So, damage. Full target. It doesn't... Oh, that's the range. Yeah, yeah. It's basically a ranged ability. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. And I'm gonna try and improve. I can't use that. No, I think, I think this is better. With the damage increase, it's better. And then we have the uh, range sigil, which is not really something I'm looking for right now, and that is good. Uh, and also this one, I would like uh, to have uh, power and cooldown if I can. Update, there it is. Man, this is 
This is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Ooh, we can, we're increasing lore apparently by doing that? Or was it just because we learned all the things? I think we, it's because we learned all the things. But anyway, let's move. Let's go into the spire that waits us. And um, also, soon enough, next episode, we'll talk with Verse and talk with Beric a little bit. Ooh, there's deer, I think. Or bucks or something. Um, and where does... The, oh, that's that's where it led, by the way. To the left. Because uh, I think that's... Can't do that. Uh, yeah, you can't. Okay, let's move. Because, yeah, there's a... You see that symbol over there? That's where we need to go. It's not immediately obvious, but yeah. No, it's not. What? How? Okay, zoom in. You see that over there? It's here. Oh. No, this is this is asc ascension hall. So we are currently here, right? Sunset Spire. And we are in Lethian's Crossing. Is that how it works? Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, we're not there. We're not there. We got ambushed. And we kill all, all the ambush, the ambushers. So we're over here. Yeah, in an Iron Hall trail. And they're all gonna die. Well, they're all dead. But these guys, if they're over there, they're gonna die. So let's see. Do we sleep as we go? You think not. But hopefully there will be trainers in here. That's really something that I need to that I need to just see into because we wasted a few skill points there. I don't think min maxing is an, uh, a very important aspect of uh, of. Um... Oh man, this place is huge! Look at this! Look at this! Uh, oh, of the game. Oh, okay, disfavored. These guys are fine. They're, they're nice. They're friendly. And we got something over here, and we have ourselves. Ooh, another sigil! Awesome. You keep it, sir. And we're going to learn it soon enough. I'm going to look into that off camera because just looking at the skills, it takes a little time and I, I, you, got to, you got to see how it works. And um, you got to whet your appetite. Welcome to the Lethian, Lethian's Crossing, Fate Binder, says this guy. Who are you, sir? Iron Walker. So you're just uh, a normal guy, I guess. Nobody really that I need to talk to. Welcomes to the... Welcomes? That's an interesting one. Welcomes to Lethian's Crossing, Fatebinder. The soldiers salute you. While the Desferred respect your authority as a representative of Tunon, Lethian's Crossing is under our protection. So watch your actions while in town. We will maintain order no matter who starts trouble. Is there anything I can help you with? Actually, that you see that? That's a, it shouldn't be like that. You should have the things. Because that's the narrator talking right there. <laughs> Uh, who's in charge here? The garrison commander in the crossing is Iron Guard Vintara. She's in charge of keeping the settlement safe and monitoring the forge bound. Otherwise, speak to Eldian. He's the town elder and who, who you'll want to speak to about local problems. He points to the east. Both of them can be found on the ground tier of the Moonrise District. What is the Moonrise District? The Moonrise District is made up of all the buildings on the other side of the river. If you need anything on this side, you'll be looking in the Sunrise District. This port to score river uh, dis divides the two districts. What kind of merchants do you have here? You'll find pretty much anything you want, for the most part. Lethinus Crossing is a, tra a large training hub, and a lot of good com comes through the area. Well, tell me more of Lethian's Crossing. The settlers have been here for a long time. That's pretty much all I know. I want, uh, if you want particulars, find Eldian. He's the town elder. He can answer your questions. Okay, I'll speak to you later. If you haven't already done it, check in with Iron Guard Vintara. She'll want to talk to you. Well, thank you very much. So, I'm sorry I said you weren't an important character. Okay, I'm on duty. Speak to someone else. Well, he's on duty as well, and he was friendly. So, you are a terrible person, and I hate you. Uh, let's send you on up it. here. Let's see what we can get out of this. Ooh, what is this? Due to the frequency of raids, all the bridges and ramps in Lethian's Crossing can be raised to provide safe places for settlers to hide. Oh. Well, they, okay, that guy just says, can't help you uh, with anything. Can I help you with... I can't help you with anything. That's that's what it, she says. Uh, let's see. We got a settler. So settlers up here. Something over there that I will be able to steal. What is that? That's good. Nope. I mean, I don't think it is. Maybe he knows best. Yeah, that's pretty good. And of course, he can take that from down there because that's good. That's a good. That's good game, game design, I think. Not forcing me to do stupid character maneuvering for no reason whatsoever. What do we have here? Ooh, very nice. Very, very nice. Can I use that? Uh, yes, I can. Thank you very much. And I'll take care of that later. We got a few stone shields over here. We got an iron walker looking out onto the... Uh, Streets. We have a few crescent and a few other guys. I don't really need to look at them, but you know, I I like. Oh, hello, kitty. Hello. Do you talk? 
Do you not not talk? I, I don't mean talk. Of course you don't. This isn't a divinity, original sin, um, or divinity in general. But uh, let's see. So yeah, I kind of uh, what I meant is you meow, but he didn't. I right clicked him, but he doesn't do that. That's not how this game works. Uh, I can't help you with anything, Fate Binder. Oh man, you guys are very very helpful. This is a nice looking place though. Look at that. Look at that. I don't know where this comes from, but this is the tower. This is the spire, I mean. And look at the details. I mean, the lack of them, anyway. The the, the details in, in the rough stonework and all that. That's pretty awesome. What is this? This is the eastern waterfall, though it cascades down alone. Some settlers believe that the waterfall split from a single source somewhere above the old walls. Can I see something about this one? During clear mornings, the western waterfall reflects the rising sun in a beautiful display of color. And that's that's a pretty found something. Oh, nice. That's pretty beautiful, actually. I like that. That's good. Uh, it's a good thing to build. I mean, it makes total sense as well to build a city in here. Another kitty over there. Let me save the game here and let's mo continue. I can already tell that later in the game, the save games and the, and the load games are gonna take forever. But I'm gonna cut them out. Don't worry. Like I did at the end of uh, of my let's play of uh, Pillars of Eternity. Uh, not not soon enough though. I I do believe there were a few long cuts but most of the time I'm just talking my my mouth off so it's not it's like it's not like you're gonna be bored with me bored looking looking at the uh, loading screen is just being like uff no oh, come on but yeah I just talk talk and talk and talk anyway what do we have here we have a door that I am just gonna say before I enter you must gather your party before venturing forth well in that case let's bring everybody over here and right. I will continue venturing forth with my own one-man party uh, I think I'll be fine. I, th I don't think anybody's gonna talk to us in the meantime. We got a few settlers over here. Lethian's mistress tends to attract all manner of people, mostly the unsavory types. What What do you mean the mistress uh, tends to do that? Is that she, is she unsavory? Does she taste bad? Because that's what unsavory means. Oh, they found something. Yeah, they did. Let's go over there. Also, let's go over here. Ooh. Okay, put that in the bag. Not that I... No, actually, that, that, that'd that be a good thing to have here, especially these po this potion over here. What is this one? This is a healing potion. I think I have one already. Uh, that's gonna be... For, yeah, he's the one to have it right there. Fantastic. Okay, so, no, she might be an important person. No, the Forgebound won't sell anything to us settlers. Oh, I thought you were natives, but apparently they're settlers. Did I kill everybody here or something? I don't remember that. I thought this, this had been conquered quite peacefully. Yeah, I remember that. I, I sent the I sent the Scarlet Corps. Sorry, in. I can't. Yeah, you will. You will. Let's go in here. I'm just saving the game as well. Uh, yeah. By the way, I uh, when I loaded t today's episode, uh, or I, when I loaded the game today, I saw a quick tip or a tool tip down below that said that whenever you eat or drink a consumable, basically all of the consumables get a cooldown as well. So I, when I said before that if you could take a lesser healing potion and then a normal healing potion without cooldown. Yeah, it applies to all consumables, as it should be, really, so to, ex to prevent exploits. But more really more really than just preventing exploits, it preventing bothersome gameplay, which would be to have just a row full of, of potions so you could chug them down as you feel f as you wish. Uh, so we got a few settlers over here, and none of them really have names or anything. It's a fine day, as long as you don't think about the armies beyond the horizon, or the bane lurking within the old walls. Yeah, I need to ch ch check those guys out. Ooh, what is this? Hmm. It's the first item that we see that's surrounded in blue. And fish. I don't like fish. What is that? This wall appears to have been damaged years ago, but was never properly repaired. Man, I'm, I'm hiccupy as hell today. I apologize. That was actually a, like a, a murdered burp. I hope you didn't hear that because it might be quite weird. But, well, we all have murdered burps, right? It's like when you're talking like... And the, the, your, your throat just does that. Oh, boy. Anyway, the other day I was recording with Bumpy and... He had that. He, he had one of those, and I noticed. I, I thought it was mine, actually, because it's exactly the same so sound. Oh, there it was. You heard that? You hear that? Yeah, it's terrible. Anyway, I I, I made fun of him because of that, but I felt I felt kind of bad because we all have that. It murdered burps. They're terrible, and especially since we since I talk so much, it's uh, it, it's it's more common. Biotus, do I want to talk to you, my good sir? Uh, let me save the game before I do because I might not want to talk to you. Let's see. Welcome, friend! The merchant cries out to you, his belt jiggling with rings. He waves his arms about in a dramatic presentation of his wares. Uh, what brings you to my humble trading post? Have uh, a certain something in mind, or just browsing? Uh, well, could you tell me anything about this seal? I found it in Vendrian's well. 
I've never seen that before. I'll have to ask one of the other merchants. Okay, show me what you have for sale then. Well, certainly, have a look. Okay, actually, let, I need to look. Ooh, okay, so these are, like, what? There's so many things. I don't, I need to look at the man manual. Man, I'm going to look at the manual of the game. Mm -hmm. Just to, if if it tells me what these are, uh, because look at that, just different things. I suppose I don't know what those are, but we'll find out. Uh, they he does sell some pretty important things. Look at this thing: forty-five iron, no bronze, bronze rings for a sigil of fire. It's a core, but we have that already, don't we? I think it, we do. We would need that, and we have a studded iron gorget. Gorget? I have no idea. Uh, let's see, a forge-bound hammer and all manner of other things. Ooh, this one as well. But it's all very expensive. The iron javelin over there. Yeah, I don't have enough money. <laughs> I didn't I didn't actually put my hands on, on the money when I should have. Yeah, this is the house seal we were, um, we were talking about. This seal was made with care and attention to detail. It recognized the sigil from the merchant house hand over quill. And there it is, hand over quill. Let's see what these are. So these are gonna definitely going to be upgrades for her, for sure. Yeah. Oh, just 0. 0.66 DPS, although plus one penetration is pretty decent. Uh, what do we have here? It's uh, a great bow. It's equipped. Why is it blue? Uh, superior. Oh, it might be the quality. Common quality. And this one is fine quality. Oh, I see. So no need to check the manual. Uh, we got a, uh, tri -for a tier forged bronze great spear. And we don't really use that. Although I could, I could, I could. Maybe he could. That's for sure. Let's see if he uses spears. Um, that's a little bit more damage, and the accuracy, the extra accuracy, is pretty good, especially for for a big weapon as this. Yeah, he did use spears before. That does look familiar. And this one is a, also a very mighty weapon. It's an iron great sword, of course. Let's put it over there. And these boots. Didn't you want to you wear them or something? I think he did. <sighs> but anyway, we're out of time for the day. So I'm Colonel RPG. What the hell? Shut up! I'm doing my outro. <laughs> I'm Colonel yes. RPG, and this has been Tyranny. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.